Coach, you guys are three days away from your first game of the season. How have you uh, seen the progression from the defensive line? Um, I think the guys are you know, really honing in on the run. I mean, that's what we got to stop this week. Um, like the way they're practicing. Um, didn't like the way we came out today starting off, but um, I like the way we finished. What are some of the guys you've seen uh, step up in the, in the last couple of weeks after Kansas? I'm um, just seeing guys starting to take ownership of you know, what we're trying to do, um, communicating better on the field, you know, holding each other accountable. That's what it's going to take to be the team that we want to be. The defensive line is, is, is that front line of the, of the defense. They got, they got a bunch of guys behind them. How do you feel like uh, they built that trust as a, as a collective unit? Well, you know, we, we're trying to throw waves at people. You know, I mean, if you're in the three deep, you might as well consider yourself a starter. So, you know, everybody's got to trust the next man next to them, and then they got to trust the next man coming in. Um, everybody's got to be at a high level. Should be no drop off when the next man gets in the game. We've seen all throughout camp, uh, you got you guys going at it with the offensive line. We saw them chirping. During, during up downs, does that, does that competition get you guys better and keep it light and fun? It does. We you know we, we challenge each other. You know, um, each group are kind of on each other's head. When, you know, when they mess up and whatnot. But you know, they're really just calling each other up, not calling each other out. You know, they want everybody to you know hold hold each other to a high standard. The Wyoming defense is a, is a nitty gritty team, uh, similar to the Big 12 teams you guys are going to be playing this year. How do you feel like you guys match up versus the, versus their uh, play style? I feel like we you know we match up good. It's going to be a challenge versus run. Now they they do a really good job up front. You know those guys are well coached. You know they're tied on the string up front. You know the you know the way that they um they run the ball and whatnot with a mid zone. Um, it's going to be a good challenge. I feel like your non conference schedule this year is uh, an opportunity to to prove to the rest of the big the big tall guys you guys being ranked last in the preseason rankings that, that you're, you're you're ready to compete and ready to play. I mean, we got nothing to prove to anybody but ourselves. You know, um, we need to get on the field, um, do what we do, and the outcome will be what it needs to be. What are you What are you most excited for out here uh, with Coach Dillingham in your first year at Tempe? I mean, I like the energy that Coach Dillingham brings. You know, he brings you know a lot of energy to the team, a lot of energy with recruiting. Um, you know, man, I, I like his style. I mean, he keeps keeps the light just enough, um, but but about business the way we need to be. Last year, you were over at Michigan State with quarterback Sam Levitt. Were you guys able to uh, kind of talk when he when he committed here? Oh yeah, I was really excited when he came on the visit and whatnot. Um, really excited to have um, Sam here. You know he has a heck of an arm, um, good escapability. Can't wait to see how he leads us. Does his speed uh, help 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 your defensive line keep them on their toes with his, with his scrambling ability? Oh, it really does. Anybody that's a loser, man, we hate a loser quarterback. <laughs> but you know that's the day and age we live in now. Uh, I've, I've interviewed a lot of the other guys like Clayton Smith, CJ Fai, Jacob Kangaika. They've all talked about how you've been to them as not only a coach, but a mentor. Is that, is that something that you, you try to preach to them? I mean, I think that's part of the game. I mean, this, 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 is, this is more than a game for me. You know, it's given me so much. Um, you know, you see a young man come through the ranks, it can't just be a game for them. You know, you want them to have some life experiences um, that they can take into the workplace and take into their homes later on in life. Um, you know, they're able to apply those, you know, as they live their lives too. Do you, do you see them maturing as well, not only players, but people both on and off the field? I do. We put them in a lot of situations to challenge them as people and as players, you know, to, um, to, to be able to step up and do the things that they need to do. Um, we're going to continue to do that um, just to get them where they need to be in life, you know, after everything ever too. As one of them plays with me and flashes me behind the camera. <laughs> This year is the, is the first year uh, you guys are both on the offense and defense. Can use communication in the helmet on the offense with the quarterbacks, defense with the linebackers. What type of advantage does that guy does that give you with you guys being able to tell your players what you see from the sidelines? That's going to be interesting. You know, to just kind of see how that, you know, how that goes down. You know, it's more Mike the helmet with the with the linebackers and they're communicating to us. I mean, I think that's going to help us more. Um, on the sideline is having the iPad. You know, you actually got video on the sideline now, and you can see what happens, and you can correct it faster. So I think that's going to be an advantage for both sides. I'm looking forward to having that. During your time in the NFL, were you, uh, during your time in the NFL, were you able to use any of that technology, or was it was it gone before you? Were... Um, it was gone before we used. We had um, the flip pages. You know, we had pictures, which was you know, which was, was good. But video is going to be outstanding. Hey, coach.